You have to tell me. You have to tell me. If you're a cop, you have to... Oh. Let's get you out of the sun here, shall we? Uh, there you go. There you go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Diggy Weasel, and uh, it has been quite some time since I've made a video last time, hasn't it? Ooh, that wind is... That wind is windy! I'm outside in the, in the Georgia... Georgia winter. But yeah, it's been, it's been quite some time. I seem to be um, going through my, my yellow period. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video, uh, well, well, first of all, Happy New Year, and I hope everybody's going well, it's like, I don't really know what day it is, but I know it's the New Year 2022, oh no, 2022, it's the second 2020, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video, um, just give you guys a quick update of where I am, and, uh, about a new announcement that I have that I've been... I've made, like, this is the second try of me making this announcement video, so, <laughs> bear with me. Um, where have I been for the past couple years? Uh, life stuff. I had to work, had to get a job, and, uh, now I'm back, uh, with a little bit of money in my pocket, and I'm ready to do some, some new stuff. But, uh, for the most part, everything's alright, for now. But, um, yeah, the announcement, ladies and gentlemen. For the past couple of years now, I've been working on a very special project, a project that's very dear to my heart. Um, for about uh, about five, five or four years now. And the name of that project, what, well, what I've been working on is uh, I've been writing a story. Uh, similar to Dougie Ball Z, but in this case, it doesn't involve me at all in the story. <laughs> there are some elements of myself inside the story, but you wouldn't be able to tell it based off the characters. Speaking of which, uh, the story is a comic slash manga that I'm writing called Big Fighters. B-I-G-F-I-G-H-T-E-R-S, and the B and the I and the G are separated by periods, so it's, it's B-I-G Fighters. <laughs> it, um, that title was originally just a working title, but eventually I just got used to it, and it just became the overall title itself. But uh, yeah. I've been working on that for a long time now, and I've reached the point where I believe in the story, if you were to read it right now, I think you would want to want to read a little bit more. So uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I've been writing the story, and I've been drawing it, and it's now available for you to read and um, enjoy. Now, granted, I'm not the best artist in the world. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even consider myself an artist. So. <laughs> What you're going to be reading is basically just stick figures. Well, you're going to be reading legible words, but the words are illustrated by stick figures and, and some images that, in my opinion, uh, decently display um, what they're trying to come across, what the words are trying to come across. Uh, yeah, it's like, I'm not the best artist in the world, so give me a bit of leniency there. But what I really want you guys to experience when you're reading Big Fighters it's mainly just the story. The story is is what I'm writing, and it's what I care about. And um, it's an adventure story, an action adventure, a little bit of comedy in there. Story about this girl um, named Kate, uh, K A T I E, Katie, also named nicknamed Kate K T E, and um, her journey to uh, become one of the greatest fighters in the world, accompanied by oh boy, eventually seven other people to join her on this journey. And antics will ensue in this world that I created. This is a whole, it's a completely fantasy, it's like an action fantasy comedy adventure story. Uh, akin to One Piece, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Avatar the Last Airbender. I love Avatar the Last Airbender, it's really great. A little bit of Korra in there, not too much of Korra, just a little bit of Korra, especially season one. Um, it's got all that in it. And I really enjoy doing this, and I really love uh, being able to write stories like this. When I was making YouTube videos, um, the limit, with, with this, I feel that there's no limit beyond my drawing capabilities and my writing abilities. With YouTube videos, the limit was my ability to edit. And as we all know, I really don't like editing videos because, one, the programs I use weren't all that good. 
two, I didn't have all that much patience when editing those videos. And three, boy, did I not like editing videos. <laughs> but um, that aside, this this story, Big Fighters, this is this is something that I truly care about. This is something that's like I'm putting my heart and my soul into it, and I know I can get better doing this. Just like with art, when you're drawing, in the beginning you might start off like looking like shit, but eventually the more you practice, the more good good practicing elements that you practice the better you'll get period period the more you practice and the good traits you pick up while practicing the better you'll get period same thing with writing if you learn how to write more you get better at writing with video editing I didn't get better uh, editing as fast as I would want it's like my ideas got bigger than my, what my capabilities are but with this my ideas are only as big as what I plan on making them and I love that so that's basically it ladies and gentlemen um, if you want to read Big Fighters it's available there are links in the description um, you can read it on both webtoons and on um, on the actual Big Fighters website it's called 8 the letter 8 the number 8 bigfighters.com the number 8 b-i-g-f-i-g-h-t-e-r-s dot com uh, and .net, because I got both of those domains, and you can read it all from uh, chapter one all the way to the epilogue uh, of that whole section. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave comments inside the video, or sorry, leave comments underneath the, the chapters, because you can do that. Leave likes on the chapters, because you can do that. Webtoons, you know what to do on Webtoons, if you already know how to use Webtoons. Uh, and um, if you like what you read, there is a Patreon that you can go to um, and support if you want. It's basically the Patreon. It's basically a glorified tip jar. There's not really much you get from it besides just knowing that you're actually helping me out um, when writing the story because eventually, in the future, I would like to get an actual artist who knows how to write in panel comics to actually draw this and make it even better than what it is now. It look, it's, the story is all right. No, no, story, I, I love the story. The art is okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm decent enough to convey what the story is trying to get across, basically. And, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, on the Patreon, if we reach 25, um, at least 25 patrons, I will actually make a video of me reading the very first chapter. And the very first chapter's name is Our Hero K-A-T. E. <laughs> there it is. Her, her actual name is K-A-T-I-E. Or is that her actual name? You have to read and find out. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mr. Weasel. I want you to stay you creative, and I will see you um, in the comment sections. <laughs> All right, peace.